Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Monty and today we're going to be putting the back onto the guitar. We're going to do the same process that we did for the top, only we're going to be doing it on the back. A couple of things I want to show you that are a little different. What we do is we put the top or the back on the rims and then we come around to here and we mark the sides where the braces are going to go through with a pencil. So you mark that if it's a dark wood, use a white pencil. And if it's light, you can use a, like a, obviously a maple, you could just use an ordinary pencil. Now, in order to get an extra pair of hands, what I have done is I've borrowed some weights from my wife. These are five pounds. These go down. I know I've got the end lined up here properly and lined up here properly. So it's, it's going to be exactly where I want it. Then I mark my sides. Now, that's a little trick that's really good and it also builds some muscles. So there you go. So there's an extra bonus in there. Now here's the top of the back. The back is all done. This is on an angle because obviously with the cutaway coming across here it just wouldn't work. So we put it on the angle and that works just fine for the back. Now, once we have marked our marks on the side, I transfer those to the top of the rim here. And then I simply take a ruler and put a ruler from side to side and I mark where it would be. Then the next step is either using a small saw and a chisel and saw in between and then cut it out with a chisel. I've used a rotor and a rotor bit and I've just gone through here and I've taken those pieces right out. Now, sometimes they're a little rough. So what I do is I have these small files that just happen to fit just perfectly in there. And I use these files just to make sure that I've got the rim sitting flat as I can make it. Now remember, it's curved, right? So it's going to be shaped like a dome. So there'll be a little bit of a rock there and that's all going to get glued down and be just fine. Now, this is the brace that I used inside the guitar on the top. We put the one piece of wood there. I put the other piece of wood here. I've got a hole in here. If I can hold my hand still long enough to get that in there. And then that would go in there like so. Now, all you do to make this thing stronger and push it back is you turn the thread, threaded uh, bolt here, the wing nut, and it pushes this out further and tightens it up and moves the guitar into shape against the edge of your form. That works great for one side, either the back or the top, but not both, because once I put the back on here now, how do I get this out of here? Because you can see that it's just, it's just, it's not possible to get this through the hole because I haven't got enough room. So what I did is I made another small jig here. And this is a very simple one that you can make at home. Cost you next to nothing to make this jig. And it, it's, it's so easy, it's a bit of a joke. Now, you can see I've got the cross braces running across here to keep it tight against the sides. But in here, I simply took two pieces of wood, a turnbuckle, and then all I did was take it to the bandsaw and cut a slot, and then I put the turnbuckle into the slot, expanded it, and pushed the sides back where I want them. Now, what that means is when this guitar is finished, I can reach in and I can turn this with my hand and loosen it, then these pieces of wood will fall off and I can get the wood out of the hole very easily. So it won't be a problem. So there's a couple of little tips for you. There's a small jig that you really probably need to make. The, the size of this depends on your turnbuckle and it's all good. So now we just take this and we're gonna glue it onto the side and we're heading over there and we're not gonna make the mistake that I made on the last top that we put on here where I had it set exactly as you see it. We're going to be gluing it this way so I can look along the sides and make sure everything is deep into the, the crevice where it's supposed to fit. And this thing is fitting very nicely. Now, one last thing. 
because I have uh, the feel here for the perimeter and I know where it's, it's going to go and everything is fitting just perfect. What I do is I take it over to the spindle sander and also to the sanding disc and I just take a little bit of the edge off here and run it around so that it's close to the shape of the guitar when I put it on here because I'm going to be coming in with the router and I don't want any big overhangs on there. I'm going to plane some of that off as it is and then we'll just route this with the router and bring it down until we get ready to put the binding on here. So what do you say? I head over to the go bar deck. We'll change the camera around angle so you can watch me do this again and then I'll fast forward it so that we're there's not a whole lot to see but I'll show you what I'm, I'm doing. All right, that's all good. Let's get it done. As you saw, a couple of them broke away from me, but that happens and you just got to be careful. I tend to hold it at the bottom and do it at the top and then sometimes the little pieces just go off balance and flutter up and jump away. But as you can see, it's all pretty good. I've checked all around with the uh, flashlight and everything appears to be okay. So I think we're done. We just got to leave it now. Anyway, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. It's tea time. Bye for now.